All right, last one, because we're on 21 of 25. So using congruence and similarity, uh, criteria to prove relationships. All right, well, let's see what the relationship is. I'm going to click on my GeoGebra. All right, so I got a, looks like an obtuse scalene triangle. All right, so what's the perimeter? Oh, okay, here's something new. Well, perimeter is when you add up all the sides. So the first thing I got to do is find the side lengths, and then I'm going to add them all together. So I'm going to come over here and find their distance. So click on AB to find the distance, BC, and then AC. All right, so I've got 7.85 and 11.2. Um, to find perimeter, you got to add all those together. So I'm going to add 7.8 plus the 11.2 and the 5. All right, so let's see what my perimeter is. 7.8, 11.2, and 5. Looks like i got a perimeter of 24 units. 24 units. And that's all they ask, so there you go. All right, I perform these transformations on ABC to create two similar triangles. All right, so they wanted me to find the lengths of the new, the perimeter, and look at their ratios. All right, so last time we did all this, but we're looking for area. This time we're looking for perimeter. All right, um, let's see what we're going to do first. So dilate triangle ABC to a scale factor of 2 to create the new one. And that's going to be A prime, B prime, C prime. So I'm going to go to dilate by point. Ooh, I've got to have a point first. All right, give me a point at the origin, y'all. Give me a point at the origin. Now come over here and create dilate by point. Click on the object so it highlights it all. Click on the point and put in a 2 because you're going to have a scale factor of twice the size. Right, I'm going to move this out so you guys can see it a little bit better. And now I've got to find the lengths of these three things. So I've got to find the length of the new A to the new B. The new B to the B, new C and the new C to the new A. So come back over here to distance and let's find those new lengths. Well, if you have been paying attention in class or watching my videos, then you know it's just the original times 2. 7.8 times 2 is 15.6. 5 times 2 is 10. And 11.2 times 2 is 22.4. So it's just multiplying times 2, everybody, on the scale factor. All right, so let's see. AB was 7.8. Now it's 15.6. All right, the new BC is 10. And the new C to A is 22.4. All right, so we need to add those together to get your perimeter. So let's add 15.6 plus 10 plus 22.4, and that's going to be 48. So there's my perimeter for a triangle twice the size. So I'm going to take my perimeter ratio of the triangle perimeter to the perimeter of ABC. So I'm going to take 48, and I'm going to divide by the perimeter we got up here, which was 24. Well, what's 48 divided by 24? That's right, you guys. It's a 2. Scale factor was a 2. All right, next up, dilate this triangle ABC by a scale factor of 2.5. So going back to this original figure, go over to dilate from point, click on the original one to highlight the smaller, click on the point, and this time 2.5 because we're making it a scale factor of two and a half times the size. Ooh, let me back out of this a little bit. I gotta find those lengths. So come over here and click on A prime one, B prime one, B prime one, C prime one, 
and C prime 1 over to A prime 1. Well, you guys, if it's a scale factor of 2 and a half, you're just multiplying the original times 2 and a half. But here they are. Um, the new A prime B prime 1s is 19.5. From the B prime to C prime 1 is 12.5. And C back to A was the 28. We're going to find perimeter by adding those three things together. 19.5 plus 12.5 plus 28. And I get a 60. Now they want a ratio of the 60 to the original 24. What do you think we're going to get? I think we're going to get 2.5. So 60 divided by 24, 2.5. So it didn't really work for area. Area um, isn't the same because you're multiplying. When you multiply, you tend to get bigger numbers. So it it didn't come around to the scale factor. Perimeters do. Perimeters will always come back to being what the scale factor are. All right, so we can hit submit. All right, how does the scale factor of each dilation in question two relate to the ratio? They are the same. The scale factor and the dilation are the same. Scalar and dilation is equal. All right. Question four. Now compare a different pair of similar triangles. Find the ratio of the side lengths of the primes to the primes of one. All right. So let's see. I wish I had an easier way to look at this. All right. So A of primes of the ones was 19.5, 19.5, divided by, I need just the regular A prime, B prime, so that was 15.6. All right, we're going to divide those, y'all. 19.5 divided by 15.6. 15.5 divided by 15.6. 1.25. Okay. It's going to be the same for these. Uh, so I need the B to C ones. So that was 12.5 and then the B to C primes is 10. So 12.5 divided by 10. I can tell you now it's going to be 1.25. So anytime you divide by 10, just move the decimal one space to the left. But in case you don't believe me, it's going to be 1.25, 1.25. All right, now the C to A. Okay, so I'm going to take 28. I'm going to divide by 22.4. 1.25, I guarantee you. 28 divided by 22.4. Yeah, 1.25. So I'm going to hit submit here, 1.25 on all of them. All right. Question number five. Oh, last question. Now find the ratio of the perimeters to the ratio. Compare the values. Well, they were the same. I just found them. They're 1.25s. Um, they are the same. Awesome. All right. So self-evaluate is five because I can mock some on my tree. All right. So this is the last one for congruence and similarity of triangles. This was slide 21 of 25. All right, you guys, last one in unit three. Woo!